Friends, you never know who you'll touch in life. You never know how or when you'll have an impact or how important your example can be to someone else. My faith helps me understand that circumstances don't dictate my happiness or my inner peace. The chances you take, the people you meet, the people you love, the faith that you have, that's what's going to define you. You have to be who you are in this world, no matter what. At the end of the day, my friends, it's not about what you have or even what you've accomplished. It's about what you've done with those accomplishments. It's about who have you lifted up, who have you made better. It's about what you've given back to those people. I think, personally, a role model is a mentor, someone who you see on a daily basis and you learn from them. My faith taught me how to forgive. Faith taught me when people present themselves in a certain way, there's probably some backstory or issue or reason for the way that they are acting. It's not you, my friends. It's them. And a lot of times, it's about something that's completely out of their control. Put God first. I've been protected. I've been directed. I've been corrected. <clears throat> I've kept God in my life, and it's kept me humble. I didn't always stick with Him, but He always stuck with me. Don't be afraid to think outside the box. Don't be afraid to fail big, to dream big. But remember, dreams without goals are just dreams and they ultimately fuel disappointment. And understand, to achieve these goals, you must apply discipline and consistency. You'll never see a U-Haul behind a hearse. It's not how much you have in life. It's about what you do with what you have. It, that's where the success is in helping others. Say thank you in advance for what's already yours. That's how I live my life. True desire in the heart for anything good is God's proof to you sent beforehand to indicate that it's yours already. My advice is this, and it's simple. Don't just aspire to make a living. Friends, aspire to make a difference. And may God bless each and every one of you, and take good care. Bye-bye now. Hi, my name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an addiction recovery coach and life coach and the host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today radio show. You can see a video version of this if you go to YouTube under the channel, Take Your Life Back Today show. Uh, this one is faith and prayer, but it's part two of uh, getting faith. Without faith, no one can please God. Anyone who comes to God must believe that he is real and that he rewards those who truly want to find him. That's in Hebrews eleven six, my friends. Faith is based on the belief that we have a creator, a God. We understand that our God is like a good parent who loves us unconditionally who, uh, and who wants to protect us, guide us, and help uh, his children. And like a good parent, he would never harm us and only want uh, what's best for us. When our faith is strong, we have absolute trust in God's love for us, 100%. So faith requires us to understand and accept God's expectations for us, brought to us by the teachings of Jesus. God wants us to love others through genuine and sincere kindness and compassion. This means that we will be humble. We will not be critical or judgmental of others. We will not be hurtful or take advantage of others. Likewise, we will not treat others with indifference. We will help those who need help and when we are wronged, we will forgive, always. If we love God, we will do these things daily, constantly. Not just uh, to those who are close to us, like family and friends, but to everyone. When we ask God for forgiveness, and we will be forgiven if that's how we treat other people. Faith reminds us that God wants us to join him in heaven one day. But our hearts must reflect God's love, which we convey with our thoughts, how we speak to others, how we treat others, and how we live our lives. It is important to understand that those who do not accept God and his expectations for us 
are also rejecting his invitation to join him in heaven. And in the end, when those people come to understand that they will be separated from God and his love for all of eternity, their anguish will be unbearable. Friends, faith will compel us to invite God into our lives and maintain a relationship with him through prayer. We should pray each and every day and throughout the day. It is impossible to pray too much. We can pray for protection, forgiveness, guidance and understanding, and for peace. We can express our love, our gratitude, our needs, our worries, and our fears. We should pray boldly and be generous with our prayers for others. Trust that God will hear your prayers and respond. Listen and watch for the ways that God may be speaking to you that may not be in the form and uh, uh, the time frame that you are expecting. And when your prayers are answered, remember to give thanks to God. For without prayer, we are strangers, absolute strangers to God. Faith encourages us to place God in the center and forefront in our lives, in our relationships, in our everyday doing. We do not allow the material trappings and activities of this world to distract us from living a life that honors our Lord Jesus Christ. So, I want to ask you today to reach out to God and ask God for guidance and direction. To let God know that without Him, you are helpless. Have faith, trust God, and live your life according to the Scripture. May God bless each and every one of you. Call me at 844 help We can help each other, take our lives back, be good to yourselves, and always be good to each other. And remember, a smile to anyone can change their day and their life. Take care. God loves you. Remember that. Bye-bye.